Hello and welcome to Arca at Bristol Dirt. This ought to be good. We got our dirt track of the season here. And it should be pretty fun, I think. I've actually really enjoyed this this car on dirt. Um, past couple of times we've done it. And Bristol seems like a decent enough place to drive. I'm gonna try to get ourselves a good qualifying lap here, but my expectations are, you know, <laughs> not that high. Okay, that's why. Because I'm going to hit the wall. Actually, you know what? That's actually kind of a, a good point. Because the Arca card sticks to the wall, you can't really wall ride, maybe. Although, I guess I didn't full throttle it to find out. So, we lose a lap of qualifying. That's okay, even if I start at the back, it's kind of whatever. I don't expect to do all that well. But I do hope I get a lap in. Tried to run the higher line, it seemed that's where the fastest guys were going. Pitch it in there a little bit. Uh, I don't know, that's probably not very good. <laughs> 11th, yeah. At least we got a lap in. We'll be in front of a couple people. We are the number 14, because this is Dirt Oval, which is by far my worst. Uh, eye racing, eye reading, whatever. We've got a couple people we know in here. We have... <laughs> we have armed for gaming up here, Austin, with the pull time, by the way. Uh, at least for now. He's very good on uh, on, dirt, on dirt. And then, of course, the one that many call Dirt Gavin is at home here, sliding around Bristol. He's got himself a P6 time for now, showing they are much faster than I am. I was a little bit scared that second lap after I hit the wall the first lap, but... Don't think I was ever going to be very close anyway. And then just uh, some names that are usually in Arco, like Larry Pace, Lewandowski, and uh, others. But lots of names I don't recognize, too, who I assume are just uh, mostly dirt racers. Fortunately, we got some people that are not here, so we are going to wait. This guy lost connection. Not sure where... The three is, has not joined. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. Don't think we're even going to be able to finish in 50 seconds, unfortunately, because of the bug that is still in the game. As soon as this gets to 130-ish, it's going to be like, nope, there's been activity. Even though there definitely hasn't. Oh my god, what? So... We're going to have to wait about a minute and a half. I probably should have gotten more practice. That's okay. I'm just going to try to keep uh, keep it steady. Try to avoid any messes. And hopefully guys do a good job of not just being all over the place and running into people. I would hope that it would be a little bit better than, say, the C-Fixed at Eldora we did. But we're, well, we'll see. Bristol's got a reputation of being beaten and banging, so maybe that justifies to people like, oh yeah, it's Bristol, baby, I'm going to just run into you. Because I have excuse. Which is a little annoying, but... That's, uh, that's what it is. So I assume this is top split, right? 5.5k? Probably. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, Gavin Lemons. I assume he's either racing something else for the race of the week, or more likely did not make the top split cut with the dirt oval eye reading, unfortunately. I kind of barely make it, because 14 of 21 with my 2.2k. 2.2. So, just enough to get up here, I guess. 
That's the end of the session, P11. And we end up P11. We'll half second off. Austin there, I won't bother him, but that was a nice lap. Well, I guess we'll do session last lap, just to try to keep it consistent, and maybe we'll see. Good luck, everybody, in the premeditated apology. Uh, apology. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we'll be able to use session last lap, check to see if top lane, bottom lane, any uh, are working better for us. We've got premeditated murder. I mean, apology. Are you all ready to wall ride? No. We are not going to do that. Ooh, no wall riding, please. Oh, man, that Evan guy lost connection oh. again. I will wag my finger angrily at you if you wall ride. And then I'll, I'll be all grumpy. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering... Uh, what would happen. I wonder if it would work or if it would start destroying your car and it would not be a good idea. I hope we don't find out. No, it doesn't. Actually, a B license. We got a lot of A licenses around us, too. And we got a blinking guy behind us, I think. Thought I saw that in my mirror, but it's behaving now. Thirty seconds or when everybody's ready. I noticed the three just joined. He's going to have to start on pit road, though, I think, because he just got in here. I think that's how that works. Yeah, there he's blinking behind us. So hopefully that doesn't become a problem. You don't get any extra tire steps for this race, so let's be smart out there. Yeah. Just uh, not going to try to be crazy, try to do anything too wild. Ooh, C1.3, that's a little scary. Got on our outside. We're going to have to give him extra room, potentially. It's a little concerning. You are out of tires. Line up on the inside. Pit Road is closed right now. Trying to figure out gear I want to start in. Probably third gear, it looks like. Seems about right. I'll just have to be easy on throttle as well. Not just smash it, or else we're going to get sideways and just start spinning the tires up, and that's not going to help anything. One to go. Take the plan for me. Be consistent and try not to light up the tires, because tire temperature is a thing on dirt, from what I understand. Basically, all I know about dirt racing is from watching Nibon videos. But he knows his stuff. And it seems like tire heat is a thing. So we'll try not to uh, overdo it. Get ready. Going green. Maybe it'll help us out. Okay, close car is ready. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. green, green, green. Better jump than those guys. Car outside. Clear high. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Outside. Side, that guy's just gonna run into the guy outside. in the front of him. You're in the top ten. You're in the top ten, apparently, but that's not gonna last. Outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want to. Feel like we're gonna get run over by the C class guy. Car outside. Well, we, spotter's not very good because that guy's been on my outside. Okay, we're just gonna get. I told you we were. We're just gonna get. We're gonna get turned by that guy eventually. I guarantee you. I feel like I don't. I, I couldn't get a C 1.3 if I tried. Outside. Outside is clear. Oh, God damn it. Inside. <sighs> Still Still there, grip. Clear inside. I'm just I'm driving scared of this guy. 
driving out of my mirror instead of driving in front of me. I need to focus on what I'm doing. He's on the wall. He's just gonna floor it though instead of trying to get off the wall and make him faster. So good for him exploiting it. I'm getting run over. I'm not very good at this. This guy's cutting in front of me. Hits. Jesus, stop hitting me. I'm obviously bad. I don't need any help. Being turned. Almost getting run over. I'm doing something way wrong, I think. Car inside. Stay high. Clear inside. This thing did not turn up here. I can't get it to turn through the corner. Car inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear. Constant sliders as usual on iRacing. Just constantly guys sliding in front of you. To be fair though, I'm slow, so go on ahead. Obviously I don't belong anywhere near not last. I just really needed to get away from people so I could focus on just driving because it's hard enough being on my own here without having to worry about what other people are doing around me. Everybody's on the top. Someone left. I mean, we're in 16th out of, as the 14 car, so that's really not even that bad. Someone getting sideways and wrecking. The gap behind is now 0.7. No idea where he went down low. I don't know if he's near me still or if he got stuck down there. I don't see him, so I guess we're fine. The gap in front is now 1.2. Just gonna keep running kind of middle. This. I feel like uh, I'm just gonna hit the wall too much if I do too much high line. So I'm gonna run like a lane down. Just accept that I'll be a little bit slower. 17's coming. guy's advertising in the middle of the race. Am I supposed to, like, leave the race right now and go watch his YouTube stream? Kind of strange. But... Wow, I'm really bad. Oh, he, he left. Okay, Colton, the next car so I guess he crashed or something. Still can't go watch his stream right now, though. I guess he wants us to join later. I always wonder if that works. The cap to Campbell in front is okay, very nice. Seconds. Very polite, thank you. Low oh, line, see what happens. Time was Outside. Nothing. No, run off. Outside, clear. I got this any good. Getting lapped. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do though. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe not doing enough throttle. I don't know. Yeah, if I do th so much throttle, I'm just going to get sideways and crash myself. 
Just gonna get lapped, I guess. Very nice, thank you. Okay, wrecked it up there. At least it's only 2x because it's dirt. Do we have more wrecking going on? Just a lap part, unfortunately. I need all the spots I can get, <laughs> so kind of hoping for it, but then again, never really actually want people to wreck so much. I don't like in that slider line. I know we're all hitting the wall because we're so close to it, but Logan, you're full on wall right in the center of the corner every lap. Was at 21.2. So we've got wall riders. That's to be expected, but also still very disappointing. Got a couple of cars up here we might be catching. Okay, not turning, not turning. The nose kind of pushes sometimes, and then I get a terrible corner. About two seconds back to the leaders. The gap to Wheeler ahead is now one point two seconds. Try my best to hit good laps. Really making up any ground though, I don't think. Not in the front the guys in front of me. That was a twenty point zero. Oh <laughs> that was a bad entry. I think three wide, pretty close to it. I better watch out so I'm not involved in a wreck if they get uh, into each other. Cause it's kind of hard to avoid messes when you're sliding around on the dirt. Kind of finding a little bit of speed. Getting the hang of this a little bit maybe. More throttle in the corner seems to be helping me. Got ten left to go. Mm, that got me a little too sideways. Get a nice run off though. Take the low line here, see what that got has for us. Outside. Clear high. That was a Not really working. That was really, really slow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. Austin have trouble. Really don't want to get in the way of the leaders' battle. It's going to be hard for me not to be in the way, though. They're obviously running the high side, so I will have to go low. Something happening up here. Uh oh. Go low, go low, go low. Oh, I had no idea where they were. There's nothing I can do. Oh, come on, the car's fine. Well, we don't even get post-race repairs like normal dirt racing? What the heck? That's dumb. I don't know which pits I'm supposed to go into. There? Is that my pits? Someone sitting down there. You got five left to go. Didn't expect to need to pit this race, although I guess I should have been, huh? Car is still fine. This sucks. Well, we're gonna guess this one. The pit lane speed limit is hey, we guessed right. Three, per hour. two, got plenty of fuel. one. Right here. 
All two clear. to go. Two more. Let's go. Okay, fast repair. Come back out. No penalty be getting gotten now because of uh, damaged car. Find a nice spot to fit in. And then are we actually 14th? That's where I'm supposed to finish anyway. Oh no, Austin. Sideways. He's having some trouble getting that thing under control. Flow car down low. Car down low. I don't know if I can gain any more spots, unfortunately. Car stopped up high. Even if they are broken. Oh no. Larry Pace just got in the back of the last lap. That was crazy. Car stopped down low. Go high. Is that the end for me? P14. Okay. Yeah, P14. Finished right where I was supposed to. All right, Ryan's trying to get uh, protested up there using slurs. Very, very nice. I said sarcastically. I didn't finish well, so this is a stupid idea. Uh, people, uh, other people had fun. It's not all about you. Just like I didn't do well, but it's not the racing's fault. I obviously could be better. But, I mean, I still got 14th, exactly where I was allegedly supposed to finish. So, minus 10 I rating on dirt, but whatever. We just got unlucky a little bit. I had my own mistakes, but uh, there were also some mistakes that uh, I just couldn't avoid because we're racing on dirt. And, uh, very hard to avoid this. Yeah. See what's happening out here. Probably a lot. I have to go quickly if uh, you see too much of it. You're going to see me get in the wall, I imagine. 11 just comes up into the 21. Somehow it doesn't get spun. Plenty of uh, accidental wall hits. That one wasn't even real, I don't think. That was just... Really close. Yeah, I mean, you walk through for most of the race. You're pretty 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 man. Like, like, you will get banned for that. You can't do that. Like, everybody's hitting it because you can't run pump and not hit it. It's so damn hard. But, like, you're just planting the whole side of the car on the wall and riding it every lap. But you can't do that. You will get banned for it. Oh, almost contact. I'm going to do it again. I'll get this one race this, and I'll. Just leave y'all guys alone. Okay, good. If you're gonna I mean, explode the game. One of these, but yeah, like, I'm still protesting you for it. It's what it ended up working with too. Like, it's just, you just, you knew you could do it, you can't do it. Like, you'll get a reputation with you and stuff like that, and you don't want that. We've got interesting discourse going on here about wall riding. Kind of glad Larry says I didn't says mean something. to hit you like after like I was spun around. I didn't. I, didn't, I saw I you coming up last time on the brakes when I started rolling down. down. Yeah, that's pretty garbage. It's clear that like he's just flooring it once he gets on the wall. He's like kind of halfway trying not to, but also not caring if he does. I mean, it sucks because. This is iRacing's problem, and it's been a problem forever. But look how much speed he gains just flooring it there. And he's, he's the guy before the race that was like, Are you ready to wall ride? And then people are like, No. And then he goes and wall rides during the race. So he kind of lost any deniability there. Like, I'm getting up into the wall because I stink. I'm not going to floor it either. I'm going to try to get off the wall because I'm not trying to exploit flaws in the physics of this game. I always say just put explosives on the walls. <laughs> Don't let anybody hit it. They do. They get blown to smithereens. <laughs> That'll stop your wall riding. Also, I would explode because I'm terrible in hitting the wall, but uh, sacrifice I'm willing to make. Moving along, got damaged cars, it looks like, potentially. 
It just seems like a lot of guys are much more uh, aggressive on the throttle through the corner. And I kind of picked up on that as the race went on, kind of figured out that's what I need to be doing. Those right rear taps, though, like you see a couple of guys doing, like that's inevitable. It's when you end up flat against the wall, and instead of trying to pull your car off the wall, you just decide to floor it. That, that starts getting to be a bit too much. Really, it shouldn't, like... I don't know. I don't, I'm not enough of an expert on dirt racing to even talk about it too much. I'm just repeating things that I've read about, you know, talking about this issue, heard people talk about... Um, It's just, it's interesting. It's unfortunately a part of the racing on dirt right now and inevitably going to happen in races. Hopefully a uh, second split was a fun race. Got down there. Yeah, there he goes. See, that's what's really going to bother someone It's racing behind. Like, you see, they enter the, cor the corner basically side by side. If the 11 gets in the wall here, and really what that should do is allow Lewandowski here to get past him. But because, you know, the f look at how much speed he gains. It's because of the physics are so flawed. Look at him just rock it off. And he's like, how many car lengths? Look at that. That's absurd. That's even more than I thought it was going to be. But it's like, you know, he's just going to keep doing that multiple times. I racing just needs to figure something out. They need to not let that happen. Austin gets on the wall there. He's flat, but you notice he didn't exit the corner four car lengths ahead. Because I'm, I guarantee you, he didn't just flat foot it and let it happen. He was trying to turn the wheel, get it off of there, like you should be trying to do. Man, <laughs> these guys are fast and they're so brave entering the corner. Like I'm looking at that. Oh, that's what a. Uh, Austin apologized for. Like, look at, look at how brave you have to be. Like, entering at the very top. Like, there's no way I don't hit the wall trying to do this. I would need a lot more practice. And then he gets it so pitched to the left. Yawed out. Gets a tiny bit of the wall there. But just that right rear. He rockets there. It's a great quarter. He heads to the lead. Oof. Gets the wall a little bit there. It doesn't help him, though. That was a terrible slider. <laughs> Damaged his car, too. I don't know if that's going to affect anything at all. But I guess it wasn't a terrible slider if he, if he made it work, but... He sure did sacrifice his car for it. Hmm. Seems like most guys are really using the right rear. Is that maybe just what you have to do? I don't know. Is this what uh, Larry was upset about? Maybe it's around here, because this is Larry up here, I believe. It's just wall riding, getting to his outside almost. How did this guy end up doing? I was scared of him, but uh, he was good, apparently. Gained some spots. Got less incidents than me, so I should have just uh, focused on my own race. He did get to the back of me once, but it didn't really hurt anything. So many wall hits, so many. Whoa, there's an actual spin. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was part of it. <laughs> so the 17 just over revs it, I guess, and uh, gets up in that slick. I try to avoid it. I did my best. Just, uh, that's about as much as I could have hoped for. So you can't really turn down in the middle of the corner. Um, this is the guy that blames the racing rather than himself or self-spinning. There's some wall riding. Making his way through the corner. He keeps it off there. I give him credit for that. I mean, got the right rear, but... <sighs> I 
I don't think he was actively trying to, but I think once he was in the wall, he was okay with just flat-footing it. Still, uh, I, I don't even want to even call people out, honestly. Personally, I just, I'm just tired of iRacing not fixing it. That's just personally me. Like, we gotta do something. Wouldn't be such a problem if, like, it wouldn't bother me so much if it hadn't been around since I started iRacing, essentially. Started it for real in, like, 2020, and it's been years now, and still there. This makes it a little less fun whenever that's an option. He didn't do it there. We're just, this isn't even an incident report at this point. It's just watching people hit the wall. It's wall report. Oof. I still got the wall pretty good there. Bounced off it though. Oof. He actually, he was having trouble later in the race. I mean, that's actively hurting him more than anything. Hmm. He's getting super loose off the corner. He might have just been gassing it up just a bit too much or something. Tire's getting hot. Guy's gonna wall ride a little bit. I'm getting tired of saying the wall word wall ride. Probably people are probably tired of hearing it too, so. We'll be quiet about that, I guess. Just continue watching. I'm probably just gonna start skipping ahead to actual incidents. But yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, what is that, man? He just straight up wrecked Austin doing that. So that's the most annoying thing, especially when you like plow through people that aren't wall riding. That's a big problem. Well, I understand why people are mad at him for doing that. That bunch of nonsense. Everybody getting the wall. Ooh, 16. Spins it around, though, from third, too. That sucks. And that was near the end of the race. So we're finishing up. Hmm. Six tries to go to the outside, but the 16 was there. Oh, that's the one I was caught in. So this the guy heads way off pace because of his earlier issue. And uh, six tries to go around his outside, but just can't quite get it done. I see it, and I'm trying. I'm doing everything I can to get low. And then the 16 doesn't hold his brakes, but I don't think it would have helped anyway. He would have slid down the banking, but I tried. I really did. I tried to get as low as possible. I was hoping they would all stay up there, but they definitely did not. I could have stayed through the middle, but, you know, I thought maybe he was going to lock it down and maybe stay up there. But no, slides all the way down the track, and that's where I was trying to avoid him. And I couldn't see it, because uh, single monitor. 20 spins it. Late in the race. Oh, and that's a pit penalty, too. Wait, it should be. How did he end up 7th, then? Huh. I guess he got really lucky. Body bouncing off the wall. Eleven plowing through another person while riding. And we never even saw Larry get hit by him. That was two different people, so... That's three confirmed times he's run through the back of somebody. Against the wall. I wish this uh, racing wasn't defined by this, but it's basically all that's happening, as you can see. Oh no! No! 
Gavin! The last lap! He was in the lead! Oh my god, that's crushing! I didn't know that happened. Coming to the checkered flag, he still gets P2, but he was in the lead! Oh my god, that sucks! Oh man, that makes me think of uh, Tyler Reddick and Chase Briscoe in real life at Bristol Dirt. Obviously didn't go exactly like that, but ended up with a last lap crash. My god, what just happened behind here? Oh wow, he paid for it! <laughs> he paid for it! Karma! Karma got him for wall riding. Oh, he just hit it in just the wrong way and it absolutely KO'd him. I guess this is where he comes down the track and made Larry mad. Yeah, he just moves down the track. I remember it now. I remember seeing it because I was right behind it. So Larry goes from fifth to fifth. Dang. <laughs> so he didn't lose any spots, but I'm sure it was not the best thing to be crashed by somebody you saw while riding the whole race. And then, uh, it's probably a friendly tap right there. I, uh, two guys with very good YouTube channels that you might want to check out. So, that'll be where we end that off. With a P14 stinker, but, uh, I am a stinker at dirt racing, so not too surprising. Is what it is. Um, wish it wasn't, uh, dominated by exploits, but, uh, that's fine. Yeah, you know, the right rear tapping's not the worst, but you do get guys that just glue it to the wall, full throttle it, and then run through people, and that's a real problem. Um, fix it, iRacing, please. Thank you. But that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the Arca on Dirt. I'll probably do some more in my own time, try to get a little bit better. But for now, it's P14, so have a good one. I'll see you next time. And thank you for watching.